Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we not only made 10 gold, we got it up to rank 18. We're going to show you exactly what you guys need to do next going forward. And today, guys, make sure you check that shop because we will have 50 free keys in there. Also, I appreciate it if while you're collecting your keys, you throw in that code chicken. It does help to support the channel and keep the chicken sign on behind me. So um, here's the, the base. So this was the sauce right here, guys. This base got us way into, well, not way into, but we got it to like 1820, which was pretty cool. We were global like 30 something at one point. I'm sure we've fallen off since, but, um, that's very exciting. And, you know, we're only going into day three here, so there's still a lot left to do. So once I get those 50 keys, I am going to jump into 4ER. We've got everything else. I think we're going to skip shock bombs for right now. You don't really need shock bombs with tanks, so I think most of us out there, you know, that's not going to be a huge deciding factor. But what we do want is we want this. Uh, I think we want the Doom Cannon, actually. Um, we'll see. With uh, all the tanks out there, Doom Cannon will be nice. Sky Shield, we can swap for Warriors. Um, and then we're getting close to the, the real offense. So we're almost finally getting away from the tanks. Um, they, they are annoying, they happen slow, and I, I know I, I, I messed up the last two videos, I forgot to address the whole reset stuff, so let's take a moment and talk about that. Um, we've shown you the tech, we've shown you the tech plan, and, uh, this is the base. This, this was, the, it was honestly this base that, that did it for us, the, um, getting the DBD, I'll finish up the tech tree in the base, then I'll talk about the reset. Um, getting the DBD at max level, um, you don't need the shock mines. You don't need the shock points. DVD and the hot pot. That's going to be a push point for a lot of you guys out there. Especially anyone still in 3 ERs, um, you know, later today or tomorrow. DVD and the hot pot, the hot pot that crushed uh, very hard. It, the log doesn't look as good now because I kind of went up and down all around. But uh, before this, we won like 10 or 11 in a row. Just straight wins from 16 to 18. So that was sweet. Um, yeah. And it was all the base. It was all the hot pot right in the center. That fizzles the tanks sometimes. Um, the problem was I was fizzling against the same base, so we'll show the uh, attacks in a second. But so the whole thing with the reset, okay? The whole thing with the reset. Now, I get it. It's uh, it sucks. It's not ideal. The thing is, when something like that happens, and it is Supercell's fault. It is Supercell's fault. Supercell has to reset the season immediately if something like that happens, because this is totally an unfair advantage. I didn't get reset. I have an advantage over those of you that did get reset. Why? Because, yes, you can work from wood rank to uh, 16. It's not a problem if it happens for everybody because everyone's on the same page. It's a problem if it happens for half of us because why? Because you're collecting your four to six chests in wood rank because you only have bazookas and mortars and, you know, maybe troop health if you're lucky. You know, you're not going to be able to push up to iron with that and collect your chest like everybody else that started and ironed it. That's the problem. So collecting chests between iron and wood, it's not the end end of the world, but it's definitely a significant advantage. So for wood rank, what do you get? Like five keys for iron, you get 18. So, you know, say that's the biggest difference is you've got to collect... Uh, you know, you're off 10, 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. So you're missing almost 50 keys. That matters. You know, that that's not nothing. Um, so that's very annoying. And it is Supercell's fault because they didn't act on it right away. The whole reason they start these seasons at 4 o'clock the morning our time, from what I understood, was so they can fix this stuff because they're in the office. Because it's convenient for them. Meanwhile, we're the ones getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, the, and, and that's the worst part is the guys that did do that, got affected by this stupid bug. Um, you know, me, I slept in. I was lazy. You know, I had a lazy start of the season. I got rewarded for it. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Um, and the whole purpose, like, when that happens, they have to pull the plug on the season immediately. Now, something like this happened a long time ago in, like, season six, I think, where there was some weird bug where everyone started in Legendary X. And not the same, but similar, right? And what did they do? They reset the season immediately. They did it perfectly. So, I mean, they're capable of doing it. They just, I don't know what happened. They just didn't know about it or didn't think it was as big of a deal until it was too late. Um, because the problem is why they can't pull the plug now. And I see these comments every day and I understand your frustration. I get it. Um, the problem is they can't pull the plug now because there's people that pushed up from wood, wood rank 1 to 16 or 17 or whatever. Um, it's not fair to them that 
you know, they've put two, three hundred attacks into the season to make them start all over again. That's the bind that you're in. And if you do that, you're appeasing to half the player base. Half the people are still going to be mad at you. You risk having more bugs. At this point, from Supercell's position, it's choose your poison. And the easiest thing is to not do anything because then you don't risk screwing it up even more, which they did in the past. So I get it, guys. I get it. I know it sucks and it's bad. And I'm not afraid to call Supercell out on it. It's, you know, it's a lazy, dumb mistake, in my opinion, um, unfortunately. But it is what it is at this point. You know, we've got to move forward. We've got to keep going. Um, the good news is, with this season, once you get past the point where you need Everspark, things start to move pretty quickly. And we're going to show you how to do all that. So um, as we move forward here, we get, uh, like, once you get up to troop damage and into the boom cannons and into the goodness and start really beefing up your base, then you're going to be fine, okay? Then you're going to be fine. Because the thing is, as soon as you get your rank chests, then things are going to start to level up. Yeah, you'll be a little bit behind, but you'll be able to compete. You'll be able to compete. So I'm sorry. It sucks. I know. I get it. It's, you know, that's my take on it. And um, you, you guys let me know. You guys let me know in the comments. So, um, all right. Back into what we're doing right now. Let's, um, you know what, let's just go over, let's just dive into some attacks. It's all going to be the same front-loaded base for the most part. We might get the odd 4 ER, but let's just see what we get matched up with here. So, the biggest thing with the tanks, and I forget if I was doing this yesterday. No, I was doing it yesterday, is the, the hack. We want to make sure that we got the hack. Um, I did max out the gunboat to tick 5. Kind of a waste of tokens. I don't really have anything else to spend tokens on at this point, so it doesn't really matter. And I thought I was going to get a really big push, maybe even into Diamond today if I really went after it, but... I don't know. It, it just got really tough when I got into 18. I was fighting uh, a lot of the same bases with the same tech, so let's see what we get here. All right, so this guy does have the DBD. He does have the hot pot. He doesn't have shock mines. Um, he does have flamethrowers. He's got troop damage. This will be an interesting one. So, same drop almost every time, guys. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the furthest bottom right corner, throw Everspark out pretty well right after. She's safe from all this stuff on the left. She doesn't... I've, I've never had her once get shot by something. That's why I'm getting more aggressive in, in just how I throw her out. And we want to distract this hot pot. That's the biggest thing, okay? So we're going to... Oh, no. It's going to be out of range, isn't it? Um, so the hot pot is deadly, as you can see. It just killed, like, two or three tanks right there. Um, but the hack is what saves us. So let's hack over here. And... Yeah, we just want to, we're just in kind of survival mode here on this side. I'm going to throw this critters out. I know it's right on top of a flamethrower, but I feel like I kind of have to at this point. Um, let's go again with the critters, just get them off the boom cannon. Ideally, we save one half for going around the side, but if it saves us four tanks, then it's not that important. Um, it's more important just to keep this side alive. If we can take down the flamethrower, we'll be in good shape. Okay, all right, so Everspark's passive critters should be enough here. I'm not going to use another critter box. Um, actually, you know what, I will. One for distracting the boom cannon, two for speed of just chewing through the rest of these defenses. We need some help with that. And I was going to lose probably another tank or two, so I think that was the right play. Now, th this that wasn't a great hit. That wasn't a great hit. I mean, th these hits are kind of difficult to control. We do have one uh, hack left, so we'll save that. Um, like we were doing yesterday, the same thing, kind of. When we come around the side here, what we want to do is we want to hack this flamethrower. It's going to allow the tanks to just move forward and lock on straight onto that engine room. So we'll see if we'll get a chance to do that here. Um, Spark is locked onto the correct flamethrower, so the tanks should do their little backy up stupid thing. Waste of time. Um, and we can hack pretty well right now. That'll allow the critters to go to this flamethrower and get some damage from that flamethrower onto the engine room. That's why we want to hack it early. The hack typically lasts long enough for the tanks to get around. Once they lock onto something, they're not going to switch off of it too. And we want to get that extra damage from the hack. So that was 2.06. That was a slow time. It looks like this guy did fizzle. So there we go. That's what we want to see. LB607. All right. Let's see if we can get back into 18. I think we can. I think we can. That brings us to 71 at 80. That brings us to 71 at 80. And yeah, a lot of people pushed up really high today. Um, today was just a big push point day and if you're not there you will be once you get to DVD and um, and the hot pot because that's the thing is you, what you want to have happen like to be able to rank up if you're a bit behind like those of you there that got reset for example you want to see people moving up quickly because that makes it easier for you to close the ranks in behind them if everybody's at the same spot it's it, you know it becomes very difficult to rank up 
because everyone's still fighting for that same kind of position, right? So, um, yeah. Let's do one more here. Let's do one more if we can get a matchup. I'd like to get back into 18 and then maybe see from there. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do at this point is just wait for the keys uh, tomorrow because that's going to put me up to uh, four engines and the sky shield. And I think that'll be a nice. I think that'll be a nice spot to be, especially with all this defense. This guy's a rank 16, so it should be again same attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna go spark in now. Just gotta be careful on that boom cannon. This guy has no hot pot. He's got no nothing, so we should be fine. Um, I'm gonna get a nice early hack out here. The early hacks are better because you don't have a lot of critters built up at this point. So it just gets the boom cannons and stuff off of targeting the tanks. And then it's going to, you know, they're, they're going to switch back and forth. But a lot of them are going to, ah, I wanted to hit a boom cannon there. A lot of them are going to uh, end up switching back from the hack defense onto critters. So that can be helpful for sure. I think let's try one more hack in here, actually. So we want to get a good time. Yeah, let's hack that boom cannon. Hacking the boom cannon is always good value because it's going to take out some defenses for you. And it's just never a bad idea, really. Um, Poland has retreated. Look at that. Okay. So I don't think we'll get back into 18 there because, um, we're actually going to go ahead and just force close. I don't think we'll get back into 18 there because, um, that guy was ranked 16. So there's going to be a pretty big difference in stars, but let's see. Yeah. Only 76. Okay. We'll try one more. We'll try one more. The, the famous one more, one more match. But, um, but yeah, so that's what I had to say on the reset guys. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's tough, and I get it, and it sucks. But um, you know, I gotta make the most of out of it of what I can. So I don't, know. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments if um, it, like, what do you think they should do? What do you guys think they should do in this situation? Um, yeah. So let's try to find one more. And the thing is, too, I mean, the goal, like, it's always nice to get to rank 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, those don't make a big difference. The big difference is getting to uh, gold, getting to diamond, getting to the, the, the next tier, right? So the sooner we can do that, the better. And we've got a 17 here, so this will be normal stars. He does have a hot pot. Don't see any shock mines. He's got 50s across the board. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go spark in somewhat early. We also want to throw spark in early. Now what I want to do here is I want to hack the cannon. If I hack the cannon, it gets the hot pot off of us almost completely. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, hack immediately, hack the cannon, hot pot, turn, 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 turn. It did not turn at all. It actually just stayed on us and it wiped out a ton of our tanks. Uh, so this can be tricky. But yeah, surprisingly, the hot pot is the best move against the tanks. Go figure, right? Wow, I actually fizzled on that. That is insane. That is insane. I'm quite surprised, guys. I'm quite surprised. That's the first total fizzle in a long time. So let's uh, let's see what he's doing. That was tough. Oof. I don't think we're going to get very far on this one, guys. But let's see. So he's flaring the hot pot. He's got Zookas. The Zookas are going down. So he flares the hot pot. Hacks the cannon. You see, hacking that cannon is critical. Um, now let's see. We'll have to get super lucky here. Uh, I don't know if he has a chance of fizzling or not completely. But let's see, we got our boom cannons left up. I mean, it doesn't look bad. He's got max critters. He's got a lot of offensive stuff, this guy. But let's take a look here, guys. Let's take a look here. Come on, boom cannons. Come on, boom cannons. I like this. I like this. This is looking good. Now it's going to come down to percentage. I don't know if we have the percentage, guys. I don't know if we have the percentage. It's going to be very close. It's going to be very close. Close. Lily yams. Oh, a 1% loss. Ouch. That's painful. But uh, anyways, so there it is, guys. That That's Warships in a nutshell. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we lost 11 stars. But, um, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if it's interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back, back.